is Marty Pearson with Ideal Marketers, and I'm going to show you how to set up your domain and WordPress. Okay, so let's say you've got your domain over on GoDaddy and you've logged into your account. You want to go over to Hosting, and then you want to go to your Domain Management. All right, when you set up your uh, web hosting, with a site like hostgator.com or something like that, they're going to give you some name servers. And those name servers are there to point your domain to the place that is hosting your website. So let's take a look at this. If we go to the domain that we're going to be working with here and we click on it, it brings up that domain. And what we're looking for is name servers. And you'll see down here that they have just assigned some kind of name server by GoDaddy. We want to set those name servers to match what your hosting provider gave you. So like if you used HostGator for hosting, they will give you two name servers that you need to put in this blank. So I'm just going to copy the ones that I got from them into this blank and then just click OK. And that's it. Now they said it can take up to two hours for this to take effect. Okay, so that's all you need to do in GoDaddy. Then we've got to go over into your hosting account and set up WordPress. Okay, your hosting provider, like HostGator, will give you the login for your cPanel. Okay, the cPanel is the control panel of your website. So you want to log into the cPanel with whatever login information they gave you. And then you want to go down and find something like Fantastico. Okay, under software and services, they've got Fantastico Deluxe here. You'll click on that. And a lot of hosting providers have Fantastico, so you'll look for something like that. And what we want to do is install WordPress. So click on WordPress. And this is a new installation. All right, so it's got the domain there. And then you can choose a directory to install it into. Now, if you're going to run your whole site as a blog, which I recommend a new person do, just run the whole site as a blog, then you leave installation directory blank. Now, if you're going to build a site and have a blog, then you could make the installation directory be blog for the blog portion of your site. But in this case, we're going to run the whole site as a blog, so we'll leave that blank. Okay, then you're going to type in your username right here and a password. And the admin nickname could just be like your first name or, or whatever you'd like. That's like your username of how you want your, your name to appear. And then you put your email address that's associated, whatever email address you prefer, your notifications to go to in here. And the site name is the name of the site. And if you don't want it to look like dot, dot .com, you can just type it out like that. So you can put a description, and then you hit Install WordPress. Okay, and then once you hit Install WordPress, it goes to this process here and lets you finish the installation. And you can have the details emailed to you. And you're done.